A couple of months ago, I made a video about creating frame mockups with AI and Photoshop. Today, we will focus on improving the AI design mockups using advanced Photoshop hacks like adding shadows, placing the smart object behind furniture or any other item. We will also discuss techniques like adding reflection to the frames and changing color of the walls. In this video, we will only focus on improving the mockups. So if you want to know how to create these mockups using AI and Photoshop, then you can check out our previous video. So without further ado, let's get started. The first improvement you can make to your AI design mockups is having some control over the size of your frame. So I have an artwork placed in the frame, but it doesn't look good. It has some empty space that needs to be filled. One thing that I can do is to adjust the artwork to match the size of the frame, but again it won't look good. So what we can do in this situation is to remove this frame from our template and then we can add our own custom frame. To do this, select the selection tool and select the area that you want to cover. Make sure to select some of the background so that we can fill the space. Let me just turn off the artwork. Now go to the edit section and select content aware field. Now based on the complexity of your background, you may have to make some changes. I am going to select the rotation adaptation to high. You can add the output to the current layer or the new layer. I am going to output it to the new layer. When it is done, click apply and hit ok. As you can see, it has created a new layer and we can turn it on and off. But we don't want it to be like that. To merge this layer with the background layer, select this layer while holding shift select the background layer. Now right click and select merge layers. Now both layers have been merged and we have a nice and clean background. Now let's add the frame. For this exercise I have created these frames. As you can see we have three set of frames. Square, portrait and landscape. Inside each folder we have different colors. So I am going to select this oak frame, right click and select duplicate layer. Now select the template on which you want to place this frame. Now I am going to adjust the frame a little bit. Now you can easily place any artwork inside this frame. To adjust the frame, select and press Ctrl T. As you can see, when I adjust the frame, it keeps the proportions. So to adjust it properly, press Ctrl while making changes. So our artwork is now nicely placed on the frame. If you are selling this template on Etsy, then the buyer will have the option to turn the frame on or off. The second improvement that you can make is to add window lights to your mock design. To do it, add a new layer. Select the selection tool and make a selection of a rectangular area around the size of a window frame. Now right click and select fill. Now change the color to white and hit ok. Now just copy and paste the selection using Ctrl C and Ctrl V. You can make 4 or 6 blocks according to your choice. Make sure to keep a short and consistent distance between blocks. As you can see we have created 6 new layers of these blocks. Now select the last layer, hold on shift and select the first layer that we created. It will select all the layers. Now right click and select group from layers. I am going to name it to window lights. What this group is gonna do is that now we can make changes to all of these layers at the same time. Press Ctrl D to select all the layers. Now right click and select distort. 
Now adjust it in such a way that it looks like the light is coming from the window. Now I am gonna adjust it a little bit. Now select this group, change the blending mode to overlay and reduce the opacity to somewhere around 40 to 50. Now go to the filter tab, select the convert to smart filters and hit OK. Now again go to the filter tab and select the Gaussian blur. Keep the radius at about 20 to 30 pixels and hit OK. As you can see it already looks good but we can also further enhance it by decreasing the brightness of the background. Select the background layer. Go to the image tab, adjustments, brightness and contrast. Reduce the brightness until the window lights look realistic. If you are selling this template on Etsy, then the buyer can easily enable and disable this window light option. Sometimes we have a frame behind the furniture or some other objects, making it difficult to place the artwork in the frame. As you can see there are some objects in front of the frame. If I enable the art then it's gonna cover the objects. To solve this problem you can use the object selection tool. Now if you hover your mouse over the object, Photoshop is gonna detect it as an object. If you click on the object it will create a selection. Select all the objects that are covering the frame. Now right click and select layer via cut. What it's gonna do is that it will place the objects on a new layer. You can now place the newly created layer above the artwork layer. Now if you enable the artwork then it's going to be placed behind the objects. In this way you can solve the issue of objects covering the frame. Another way to improve the wall art mockup is by adding a reflection to the frame. To add the reflection to the frame, select the selection tool and make a selection of the nearest place to the frame. Now right click and select layer via copy. I'm gonna name it to the reflection. Now select the layer that we just created and place it in the frame. Press Ctrl T to select the layer. Now right click and select Distort. Now adjust it in such a way that it occupies the maximum area of the frame. Now select the reflection layer and go to the image tab, adjustments, brightness and contrast. Reduce the brightness a little bit and hit OK. Again go to the image, adjustments, select exposure, reduce it a little bit and hit OK. Now select the blending mode to screen and leave the opacity to somewhere around 40 to 60. As you can see it's already looking great but in order to make it more realistic you can again play with the brightness and contrast. Reduce the brightness and hit OK. So now we have added a nice reflection to our frame. You can enable and disable this option according to your choice. Another way to improve the AI design mockups is by changing the color of the walls. To do it, select the pen tool. Now you have to select the area of the wall. 
I am going to speed up the process. It's going to be difficult task if you have a lot of curvy objects in your mockups. You don't need to be 100% accurate because you can always make the adjustment after selection. After making the selection, right click and click on make selection. Keep the feather radius at 0.5 pixels and hit OK. If you see clearly, then you may notice that there is an issue with the selection. Because of the table, we have not selected all the areas of the wall. So we are going to select the area under the table. So now I am also gonna select this area. Select the area, right click and select make selection. If you hit OK, then you are gonna see that our previous selection disappears. Now we don't want it to be like that. So right click and select make selection. Now check the add to selection option and hit OK. Now what it's gonna do is that it will also keep the previous selection. Now select the layer tab. Then click on the new adjustment layer. Use saturation. I'm gonna name it wall color change. As you can see, it has created a new adjustment layer. Now there is one more thing, you need to select colorize checkbox. Now if we adjust the hue option, we can change the color of the wall. But as you can see, there is an issue. It also changes the color of the artwork and the frame. Now we don't want it to be like that. So what we can do is to place the artwork and the frame abo above the adjustment layer. So now if we change the color, then it will not have any effect on the frame or the artwork. To make it look more great, you can select the blending mode to multiply and leave the opacity at 60%. If you are selling this template on Etsy, then the buyer can enable and disable this option and can easily change the color of the wall. Now by the end of this video, you may be able to transform your average looking mockups into something extraordinary. If you want me to create a tutorial video about video mockups with animated reflections, then let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.